There were a whole range of buildings associated with Joby Airfield. There were guard houses, decontamination rooms, offices mess, sleeping quarters, air raid shelters, parachute stores and many more. Today most of them have disappeared, but one or two have survived. This is the original guard house and anyone coming on to Joby Airfield would have been challenged and identified here. Some of the more humble buildings that survive are the tractor shed, the vehicle shed, the powerhouse which had diesel generators in it and the bombing teacher building. If you were going to bomb over Germany then you needed to know how to find your targets on a dark night and how to get the height and speed right for a direct hit. This is one of the few remaining trench air raid shelters where up to 50 men could hide in case of an attack. It's brick lined, it's four feet wide and it's 50 feet long and it's camouflaged from the air with a great grass bank. There were 17 of these shelters around the airfield and over 800 people could take cover in them if there was an attack. Here's the turret trainer building. Inside, there would have been an early type of simulator, projecting a picture of German aircraft flying through the sky. Trainees would sit in a mock gun turret and learn to aim and hit the images. In the rush to develop Jerby Airfield in recent years as a light industrial area, Many of the wartime buildings have been demolished, though a handful of the most important ones have been legally protected, and the most important one of all still stands. Fortunately, this building has survived and it's in excellent condition. It's the watch office, or as they call it, flying control, and from here all movements on the airfield were monitored. Flying control still retains some of its original features. Hidden away on the eastern side of the airfield is this extraordinary building, and it's all still here. It's the bomb store. Behind these great doors, the live bombs were kept. They were swung out on these rails, loaded onto trucks and taken off to the waiting aircraft. Although no bombing raids were undertaken from Jerby, it was important for the trainees to know how to handle the explosives and how to load them onto aircraft. Because this was such an important installation, it was surrounded by four pillboxes and a huge earthen bank, which would have acted as a blast protection if any of the bombs had gone off accidentally. <laughs> 